Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going to talk about the differences in UV sterilization systems and why you need one for your rain harvesting system. <laughs> Before I go any further, I do want to say that most of this video is very technical. However, if you're here just to find out which UV system is right for you, we have an easy solution. Go to our website, rainbrothers.com, click on the buyer's guide, and it's an automated process that asks you just a few questions, and based on your answers, we'll pinpoint you to exactly which UV system you need for your application. It's a really easy way to narrow in on which system you need for your house. So what is a UV system and why do we need one for our water supply? UV is an effective way of killing off bacteria or more correctly it sterilizes bacteria so that it can't reproduce and colonize, um, rendering it ineffective. The way it works is you will have a your water supply go through sediment reduction filters and up to a five micron absolute filter. Five microns is the requirement for pre-filtration before it goes into the UV system. So you're going to strip away a lot of the sediment in your in your water supply, which will leave the water fairly clear. Then the water moves through this this chamber here, the stainless steel chamber, with the lamp embedded in a in a glass or quartz sleeve in the middle of this chamber. The lamp will shine through all sides uh, of this chamber and the chamber itself will reflect the light back so that it's it that light is bouncing back and forth and really penetrating the water supply. And as soon as UV light hits bacteria, it will sterilize that bacteria, rendering it safe for human consumption. Compare this with a classic chlorine injection system and you'll find that with chlorine, even though it's effective at killing bacteria, uh, killing most bacteria, and, and if you read a bleach bottle, you'll see it says 99.9% .9 effective at killing bacteria. Um, it's not 100% effective, but also for a chlorine system to work, it has to have contact time. Chlorine, if you spray bacteria with chlorine, it has to sit on that bacteria for at least 15, 20 minutes for it to be considered effective. With a chlorine injection system, there is always a large 85 gallon retention tank included with the, the injection pump. So once you pump chlorine into your water supply, it has to sit in a retention tank and hold there for 20, 30 minutes to have adequate contact time to work with that bacteria and make sure that it's killed off. UV, on the other hand, is instantaneous. As soon as that water passes through that it, and the light hits the, the water supply, hits the bacteria, that bacteria is sterilized instantly. UV is very effective. It's space saving. It's, it's, and it's cost effective as well in the long term. The primary difference between UV systems that you'll notice is price. UV systems can range anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. And we want to go into why that is the case and what specific UV system you need for your application. Now, the more expensive UV systems are going to be what are called NSF Class A UV systems, which would be this Viqua Pro 10 right here, or this UV Dynamics model 11.40C. This is also an NSF Class A system. NSF Class A means that it's certified to sterilize any bacteria that passes through the water system for a sole bacteria control. So you don't need any auxiliary, any additional bacteria control for your system. You can rely solely on UV to uh, purify your water. Whereas a system that is not NSF Class A certified is technically not able to make that same claim because it hasn't been tested to the same rigorous standards as the Class A systems. You'll notice that this is a non-Class A system made by UV Dynamics. 
This is a Class A system made by UV Dynamics. Same manufacturer. Um, and you'll notice that the only noticeable difference between these two models is this additional port right here. Now in this additional port on the NSF Class A model, you will screw in a what's called a clarity sensor. This, this shines a light through the chamber here, the stainless steel chamber, and it reads the reflection back to the sensor. So it, it's measuring water clarity. And of course, because UV light works to sterilize water by penetrating the light through the water supply to, to uh, hit the bacteria, any bacteria that may be present, we want that water to be as clear as possible so that the UV system can be as effective as possible. So all Class A systems have a clarity sensor to measure that output and to make sure that uh, you're, you have clear water going through the system. This is the clarity sensor for the Viqua Pro 10. Now the Class B systems or the, or the, the straight UV sterilizers do not have that clarity sensor, which can, can be advantageous. In a lot of rain harvesting systems, the water can be murky, particularly after a rain event when water enters a cistern and stirs up the, 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 any, any sediment zone on the bottom of the tank. It creates a sort of murkiness. And in those instances, this flow sensor can trigger an alarm that can be a little bit of a nuisance. Um, unless you really want to know that your water supply ha is, is clarified and the UV system is working optimally, we recommend uh, not using a clarity sensor with your UV system and going for a basic model here. This is the Viqua D4. This is the UV Dynamics UVD 600. These are great for household applications for sterilizing your water supply. Now in some areas, such as our home state of Ohio, a NSF Class A system is required for rainwater systems. Now another difference that you'll notice between an NSF Class A UV system and a non-NSF Class A UV system is the, is the control board itself. This is also called the ballast. This is what supplies power to the UV lamp and also monitors the the health of the UV lamp so that if there's a short circuit or the UV lamp isn't striking and the UV isn't being generated, this ballast will detect that on high quality systems like the Vico or the UV Dynamics. It will detect that, that uh, absence of light and will alarm on the ballast. So it will, it will beep or blink yellow or, or blink red. There are LED lights that correspond with the health of the ballast, the health of the lamp, and then any other uh, potential, if you, if you add a clarity sensor to the UV system, it will also detect that. On high quality UV systems, it also has a countdown clock. This, is, this will read, when you plug it in, it'll read 365. That's that's telling you the life of the lamp itself. And of course, when it gets down to zero, it will go into alarm phase and will alert you that it is time to replace the lamp. Whereas other low quality UV systems don't include this feature um, and don't have any way of, of telling if that UV lamp is still striking. So you could go months without knowing if the UV is, is functioning at all. On the Class A UV system, the ballast is a little more sophisticated. So it, it has the LED light for the clarity sensor. Um, and of course, if that's beeping, that would indicate that you need to pay attention to the water clarity, which could be as simple as cleaning off the clarity sensor itself, taking out the UV light and the quartz sleeve, and wiping down the quartz sleeve to ensure that there's no sediment buildup on that glass so that the UV can penetrate fully. Um, it also has an LED light that corresponds with the cooling fan right here on the system. This is, this particular Class A system is an air-cooled 
system. So it runs cool air over this chamber to keep the overall temperature of the UV system regulated. This will prevent overheating, which can lead to a burning of the quartz sleeve that surrounds the UV lamp inside the chamber. So this is a really effective way at, at controlling the, the temperature of the operating system. This particular UV system also includes a flow sensor. We absolutely, honestly hate these flow sensors. They, they trigger nuisance alarms all the time. We often tell people to disable them. But if you're in an area that requires them, uh, you, you do want to include it and it will monitor the health of the, uh, of the flow sensor. And it also includes the, the, the life of the lamp. And in this particular case, this is a two year lamp. So it will alarm after two years. And at any point you can silence the alarm, reset the lamp life, etc. So what's the difference between various class A UV systems? The biggest difference, of course, is price. Um, this is, the Viqua Pro 10 is a much more expensive Class A system than our more cost-effective UV Dynamics Class A system. The difference between the two models, we've already covered that they both have clarity sensors built in. Um, the ballast itself is, is a little different between the two models. This ballast actually gives you a real-time dosage amount in millijoules per centimeter squared. For class A systems, we're looking for 40 millijoules per centimeter squared. That's our dosage that we're shooting for. That is considered by NSF to be the effective dosage at, at ensuring that all water is sterilized of bacteria. So this, unlike the, the VEQA model, this gives you a real-time readout of the UV dosage and it also, what we like is it gives you error codes between uh, different, different alarm conditions. So instead of the, the VEQA model, which just beeps in an alarm state, and you have to kind of figure out what could be going on, this actually will say, for example, E1, which means low UV le level, which could mean that the, the water is not clear enough to work effectively. Um, or it could be a, an E5, which is a changed lamp. So it will tell you exactly what's happening with the UV system and why it needs to do, uh, what, what, it need, what needs to be addressed. Unlike the Pro 10, the UV dynamic system does not have a cooling fan. So this chamber can be hot. Uh, there's no way to moderate the temperature. So when you're, um, when you are using the water and, um, let's say you've been out of town for a few days, you go to turn on your cold faucet, the water will be warm because this UV chamber will, will it is an incandescent bulb. It ge does generate heat in this chamber, so it will transfer to that water um, you know, on the cold side. It, of course, as you run water, um, that will, that will uh, moderate and uh, become much more temperate and, and cold again. The Viqua system does have a, a cooling fan that keeps the chamber cooled, so it, it reduces that effect on the UV system. Another difference between the UV Dynamics Class A system and the Pro 10 Class A system is that the, uh, the, Pro, the, the UV Dynamics system does not have the capability of disabling the clarity sensor. This can be good or bad, depending on your water quality. As I mentioned before, in rain systems, after a rain event, when water ent enters a cistern, it tends to stir things up inside the tank, which can create a little bit of murkiness. Once that murkiness gets transferred into this UV system, it, will, it can trigger the flow sensor or the um, clarity sensor alarm. On the Viqua Pro 10 model, you can disable that clarity sensor at any time by simply unplugging the ballast, unplugging the clarity sensor from the ballast, and then re-plugging in the ballast again, and that will completely disable the clarity sensor. Here, that is not possible. So that is something to consider. But other than that, 
if you're looking for an affordable Class A system, you're in an area that uses Class A regulations, absolutely, we recommend the UV dynamic system. It's a great cost-effective way of, of meeting those regulations and ensuring clean water. This is the part of the video that gets a little heady, but it is very important to discuss because this is what differentiates UV systems between models. You could pay $200 for a UV system that advertises certain things, but you're not really getting the performance of a slightly more expensive system. So we want to make sure that you're getting all the right information. What you want to look at with UV systems is first the flow rate of the UV system. For most residential applications, your flow rate is going to be anywhere between 6 gallons and 10 gallons per minute. If you look at the specifications for the UV system, you go to a Viqua Pro 10, the Class A model, you're going to see that this is specified at 10 gallons per minute. But then, and this is a $2,600 unit or more, then you go to this, this uh, few hundred dollar unit, this is a Viqua D4, its stated flow rate is 12 gallons per minute. So why would this be able to handle more flow than this unit? Well, there are additional specifications that we have to look at. First, for non-NSF Class A UV systems, the stated flow rate is not going to be the same as the Class A systems. For NSF standards, the dosage rate for UV is 40 millijoules per centimeter squared. At 40 millijoules per centimeter squared, this is able to treat 10 gallons per minute. Now, even though this is rated at 12 gallons per minute, if we dive into the specifications, we'll see that it states 12 gallons per minute at 30 millijoules per centimeter squared at 95% UVT, which means that that water has to be very clear in order for this to, to generate 30 millijoules per centimeter squared at 12 gallons per minute. Now, even on non NSF Class A UV systems, it will still give you a stated flow rate at 40 millijoules per centimeter squared. In this case, the Viqua D10, D4 says that it will treat 9 gallons per minute at 40 millijoules per centimeter squared. However, that's not the same, it's not the same, it's not comparable to the 10 gallon per minute Class A system because, again, it's saying 9 gallons per minute. 40 millijoules per centimeter squared at 95% UVT, whereas this can treat at 40 millijoules per centimeter squared at a lower UVT, which means the water can be a little more murky in order for it to treat effectively and kill the bacteria. So again, that's very technical information. I can't... I can't stress it enough. Go to our website. Use our buying guide. We've simplified this as much as possible. It helps you select exactly which UV system you need. But I just wanted to make sure that you knew that there are differences in the treatment. There are good reasons why there's such a big price difference between the different models. Thank you so much for watching. Visit us at rainbrothers.com and see you then.